Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to use sound packs in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it, and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play, you have your audio recorder, and so on. So guys, let's go ahead and get started with seeing how we can use sound packs for our tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is go right here into the upper left corner. Next to the tracks option, we have live loops. So I'm going to open up live loops. Now live loops is going to open up this section where I can find all the loops I can access, such as EDM, hip hop, dubstep, and so on. But one of the options is called sound library. So I'm going to open up sound library by tapping on it. And this is now going to open up the sound library where we can go ahead and find all the content packs that we can use. As you can see here, we have a load of content packs that you can browse and find the one that works the best for you and in the upper right corner you even have your manage packs option where you can take a look at all the packs that you can use and get for your track so basically go ahead and browse here find whatever you want click on it to get it and after that it's going to be available for usage right here for your tracks yeah guys that's how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thank for watching take care and bye